Well, uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, to small turnout today, but we had a, a great meeting um, for the carrier interest group yesterday. So, um, and the day before, so there were a lot of people there and uh, that's probably, they are uh, busy, many of them flying and, and traveling around. So uh, not too surprising. Um, kind of the standard agenda. Uh, don't need to do introductions since everybody uh, has been, uh, I think here knows each other. Uh, board farm status. Uh, is there anything from your end, Paul? Uh, I think the the biggest thing that's cropped up um, as more and more people kind of get interested in this development about the results on board farm mm -hmm. is that there doesn't seem to be, for a lot of the tests, doesn't seem to be a, a much of an explanation as to why they're there. <laughs> so I don't know whether this is just because people aren't looking in the right places or um, or whether they're just there are a number of tests which don't have much explanation about what they're for. Um, yeah. did, did you, I mean, have you gone into any detail on any of the tests when you run it there? It's just a case of the, let's just run the daily and uh, if it passes, it passes great. Um, it, for the ones that we're running, so far, I, it's literally been, it passes, if it passes, it passes. I don't look into the details of what the advantage of it is. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are, are just kind of, um, like the, like there are ones where, where like it tells you the, um, uh, what's a, a good example? There's a few, they just kind of tell you like little things that aren't really that important. But I guess the, it's nice to know that the, what the answer is, and you could use that for something like uh, if you wanted to um, do some sort of like, uh, you know, uh, big data or not really big data, but, you know, look through the data to try to get results over time or something. It may be useful, but mm -hmm. um, not often that useful straight out. Um, I think that is an interesting point, though, is is if you see some tests, um, if you see a way that a better way to document what the test does hmm. and the advantage, um, that would be a very welcome addition, I think, um, because yeah. there, there are a lot of tests there and they're, they're not really always incredibly clear what why they're there and what they're doing. Sure. I asked the, the team just to sort of send a, ma a message on the mailing list to say, well, a, is there a description? B, you know, if we wanted to add one, what's the best way of doing it? Yeah, no, um, definitely. And so let's see what happens there. But uh, and then some other bits and pieces which have come up, which are we've got additional test cases we want to add into our pipeline, mm -hmm. and kind of deciding whether they should be part of Bore Farm or not. Uh, I'm not quite clear on whether we would. You know, whether that would be something that the Port Farm team would appreciate. Things like mm, how, you know, so we, we have adding a test for how quickly uh, um, encryption stuff can be done by the board. This is not really a necessarily a pass fail thing, but it's a profiling thing. And I, at the moment, I'm just assuming it's not going to go in there because it's not about OpenWRT necessarily, it's about the board. So I'm just playing I it as a second step. I, I think that's that's valuable. I mean, there may be, it could be that there's nobody else who needs that test, but it could be that lots of people need that test. It, it's just, mm. you don't know until, so I, I think the way I look at test cases, as long as there's some like general applicability to somebody else, it's not like super specific to um, mm -hmm. just your board in some, or some, you know, testing some proprietary thing or something. I think it's useful to submit. In, mm. in pretty much generally. Okay, I'll see if I can get the guys to do that. Yeah, that'd be great. I, any, I'm, anything. I mean, it could be that, like I said, it could be that nobody needs it. But it could be that we find out, hey, a lot of people need it, and nobody had, mm -hmm. had got around to it. So, yeah, definitely. Sure. Okay. That's great. Um, from my end, I haven't been been able to do too much. I've been traveling this week. Um, but I uh, when I was with Kathy, she has um, had a box of many, many QCA boards that uh, she has available. It's probably um, a set of five or six additional boards that we that we can add to the board farm. So um, 
between myself and the Open WRT folks who were at the carrier interest group, we kind of looked through the box and and figured out what it was that we would be useful. So um, she's going to then ship them to me, and uh, I'll start putting them in there. But it'll it, it's going to be nice because it's literally like another probably five or six new boards that we don't have uh, in the farm. So that should be awesome. Lot right. of really, really great. Uh, anything else on board farm that anyone wants to discuss? All right. Um, funding open WRT projects. Uh, we, the pretty much not too much has changed. Uh, Felix, uh, last update I had was uh, was last meeting, um, so I think he's he's still uh, looking at the at the code and starting starting to write some documentation. Uh, Luca gave a, a little update at the carrier interest group. Uh, he is almost done with the, uh, the porting the soft at home uh, stack to. Uh, to open WRT and is is doing some final tests before he sends it back to Soft at Home for uh, to get their kind of sign off that it does what they think it does uh, and he hasn't missed anything uh, and then that will be I I think released uh, he's also is going to discuss on the on the mailing list that that question about UCI the the um, how to handle anonymous sections so it it complies with TR sixty nine shouldn't be uh sounds pretty straightforward it just needs to get discussed uh between all the people that are involved in that so that that'll be between lead and, and open wrt folks uh next round of funding we've extended the deadline we we didn't really get a quorum of of uh proposals um i i know there are a number of people who have told me yes i'm going to submit but they simply have not had time um some of them either have been traveling or they had said that they uh, weren't quite ready, but they will submit soon. So we haven't like set what the exact deadline is. I have to talk with Kathy it, what we want to set it to. Um, but I, I think we can accept proposals kind of partially and somewhat on a rolling basis as well. And there were some ideas that came up at the carrier interest group that we might also want to do. So um, not sure what we're going to have as a deadline for this particular um section this particular uh instance but we'll we'll see going uh what it'll be but it is extended and we're certainly welcome to accept proposals uh we have the information on prpl works if uh anybody is interested in that uh so it, and it's pretty straightforward we're not real um we're not super strict we 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 don't want to want people to be just doing work uh for the sake of doing work here, it, we just want to get the appropriate information and that we can evaluate it and move forward. Uh, any questions about OpenWRT projects funding them? All right. Hi, Eric, Matthew speaking. Yep. Uh, just a clarification on Lucas' work. So, if my understanding was correct, so as a uh, final result, let's say, of its activity, it will be released uh, so some source of source code mm -hmm. with some kind of an of open source license yep. uh, uh, as an output of its work. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I suppose that that would be uh, upon agreement with uh, Soft Atome for their part. I believe so. But, but yeah, no. in general, in the project scope, it was stated that the uh, the work uh, would have been done on a openly available software. So. Yes, that is the requirement. So yes, that was one of the requirements for funding. Um, so yeah. Um, any other questions? All right, uh, regulatory update. Um, I don't know if we have a, have a lot more. Uh, I did submit my proposal to uh, be added to the um, technical advisory committee dealing with this topic at the FCC. 
Um, it it's in their hands. They have to go through their internal procedures. Their the technical advisory committee. Uh, their next um, the report is coming out. I think in December, so it's going to be a pretty short uh, deadline. But uh, hopefully, I will be getting onto that committee very soon. If and hopefully I'll be accepted. Um, I don't foresee there being any issue. The the chair of the committee was, you know, pretty much said we're welcome to accept anybody who has anything valuable to add. We're, you know, it's a lot of work, and they want people who know what who know the topic and understand the consequences and all this to help. So, um, fingers crossed. But I, I I'm pretty pretty optimistic that that will that will happen. Uh, any other discussion on regulatory? Um, nothing then on Open WRT Summit other than, you know, same conclusion every at the carrier interest group. Everybody's, you know, repeated what has been said um, a lot is that, it, you know, went really well and a lot of a lot of good thoughts. Um, one topic uh, that did come up was uh, where to do the next summit. Uh, there were a couple members of Open WRT, um, uh, Luca and Imre, who uh, brought up the idea of doing Open WRT Summit in Asia. Uh, that's a uh, f could be fairly uh, difficult, but uh, it also has a lot of potential because of the interest and the use of Open WRT in um, a lot of IoT devices that are that are being you know made in 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 Taiwan, in China, and in in uh, areas you know in in Asia. Um, but, uh, you know, not announcing anything or even to saying that, you know, the committee would have to decide if that's feasible and, and things like that, but just wanted to bring it up that that idea had come up. Well, I mean, what, what do people think about that? Um, uh, what you're speaking, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah. How uh, how practical would be the Asia choice? I mean, at least America was the uh, Silicon Valley was the hub for the soft vendor, so mm -hmm. they are anyway um, in a good position for joining the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, if you rather would go in Italy, uh, sorry, in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, too much uh, optimistic. <laughs> In Europe, uh, if we choose Europe, at least the software vendors that comes, I don't know, from Belgium, uh, France, or Italy, mm -hmm. the facilitating Asia would be far for everyone, almost. Yes. Unless we unless we go visiting Foxconn or other ODM uh, providers. Yeah, I mean that's. Um, I think uh, the OpenWT guys were, were looking at as like you know is this a way to build the the interest in the community to to bring in these groups i mean it's kind of a i mean if the it's up to obviously it's, it's up to the committee and whether there's uh sufficient funding and interest from everybody uh, i have no idea um haven't even got to that point of consideration um so well okay uh, it was just my thought so uh, we will yeah, probably guess that on on the doodle or on the base camp yeah definitely well there's gonna be lots of discussion i'm sure before we even get to anything the next summit but uh i'll probably for be emailing the summit committee this week to um set up a time just kind of follow up with the committee and figure out next steps when when do we want to do the next summit or you know do we want to do one in spring do we want to wait to next fall is there what what works best and and how do we get uh, you know additional sponsors and and uh, additional interest from uh you know, build the build the summit uh, over time, but yeah. Well, my personal opinion again is that in order to not lose the good momentum from the SOC vendors, mm -hmm. uh, I just read your um, little minute about the the meeting. So, if they are committed in coming back to to the to the group with an answer from their from their companies in two or three weeks. I think that uh, a good time frame would be just after their feedback. So 
leaving them the time for uh, having a feedback for their company and then meeting up again in order to agree on a common path. Because if we wait three or six months, we will probably lose the momentum. Well, I mean, OpenWRT Summit's a little different focus. I mean, there'd be another meeting perhaps, but the carrier interest group, but OpenWRT Summit would be, it's more- Oh, sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, Eric. No. So, you were talking about the OpenWRT Summit? Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, my fault. Uh, I mm -hmm. thought you, they, you were talking about the next uh, carrier interest group meeting. No, no. Sorry, no, no, no problem. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can go to the carrier interest group meeting. Uh, you know, Art, do you want to want to kind of give give a summary, or you know, there's going to be a, a public blog post on this topic. But um... Art, are you there? I think he might be driving. Um, so yeah, we had the the meeting in Santa Clara. It went, uh, I think, very well. We had um, kind of a general sense on on a way forward to um, find some common ground on APIs that will be more useful to the the software vendors as well as the as the the open source community on things like uh, discussed a lot of different topics. Some of them were um, Things related to Wi-Fi, um, things related to uh, LEDs, to push buttons, and um, GPIO. Those were kind of like the the decided to be the kind of priorities to to focus on. So, um, kind of are the uh, ideas that there's going to be some the that these topics would be focused on for potential finding common APIs uh, that work for that simplify the work of everyone. Uh, the 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 you know the SOC vendors have to go back to their companies and, and you know get feedback, and then that's going to be brought back to the to a meeting of the carrier interest group. We're going to have a meeting in uh, two to three weeks, um, or about three weeks, and we will uh, kind of talk about you know what the feedback is and what's the next step forward. But hopefully, uh, making some progress um, on simplifying uh the what basically you know software vendors are receiving from uh soc providers and the open source community is receiving from soc providers on on their apis um so it, i i think anybody everybody who was there would would say it was a was a very productive meeting and went real well um any other comments on that I have just one curiosity about the, yep. the meeting. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, due to the time difference, I was just able to attend a couple of hours of your morning uh, both days. Yep. Uh, just curious if also the, let's say some APIs more related to the data plane were discussed. So something about the uh hardware and software acceleration paths that normally are very uh soc vendor proprietary and mm -hmm. causes a lot of headache for every software vendors to migrate yeah well, we did discuss the um uh there's actually an on base camp for the carrier interest group there's a uh a presentation that that uh uh walter posted and it, he, we literally went through he has a list of i think it's like 20 one API kind of areas. It was, you know, in the priority items, you know, they were, you know, Wi-Fi, um, things like data plane were included in that. And kind of everybody agreed that it'd be good to start with a, you know, the, the goal is to stand, is to uh, find common APIs for all of these, but we can't start, you know, 21 things all at once. We, we have to start with some limited, um, items uh so the so kind of everybody generally agreed that that starting with um uh wi-fi um gpio push button and leds was probably um a good set of of things to be like you know first pass tr you know see what we can see how things go and see if if we're if we can make some progress on this so it, data plane was brought up and it was discussed but it was um 
it, it's a, uh, certainly a, a huge topic and um, yeah. Okay, okay, thanks, understood. So nevertheless, also Wi-Fi is not so, so small yeah. one. So it's yes. Really there... good in our size also to start on them. Yeah, we, we tried to uh, um, have some ones that were a little, you know, the, the LEDs and push button, things like that were a little more, little, little more straightforward, probably um, not too controversial. Uh, and, and just to, just to, you know, do that. And then uh, Wi-Fi was kind of the um, bigger one that we wanted to, that the group kind of felt like would be good to tackle. So uh, a little bit of, of the easier ones along with, uh, with a more difficult one. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate once we see how that goes. Okay. Yep, Clear. Definitely. Thanks. All right. Uh, anything else about the carrier interest group that anyone wanted to talk about? Okay, and the end of reminder there there is going to be a public blog post uh, discussing this uh, the the you know kind of a summary of the meeting and and you know how that summarizing that it that it went well like I think everyone would agree that who was there would agree it did. Um, that's all I have on my agenda. Is there any other topics that anyone wants to discuss related to Open WRT, Purple Purple WRT, Carrier Interest Group, anything? So just wondering, after the yep. CIG meeting and blog post, uh, uh, what's the next steps? Is it uh, identified in this meeting? Uh, like, uh, yes. next CIG meeting or so, or, or what's the uh, uh, agreed? Uh... The, the carrier interest group agreed to meet again in about uh, three weeks from now to kind of just discuss to get the feedback from the, the SOC vendors and to, you know, see what if anything needs to be adjusted, what next step forward are, um, kind of get a get a sense of, of where things are. So, and then from there, then I assume the group will decide on how they want to move forward from that. So, so that the next step is the, is the meeting in three weeks and I'll send out a, a doodle to figure out what a time is good for everyone. Okay, great. So we'll wait for the blog to be published and yeah. Yep. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Well, anything else? All right. Well, then um, I, will, uh, I will. We can call it a meeting. Um, thanks everyone for joining. We have a you know meeting again next week, and hopefully see you all there, and um, we'll uh, go from there. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.